Hello everyone. Uh, so welcome to another video of UGB 2024. So uh, again, uh, let's discuss. We have already discussed the first problem. So let's discuss the second one. So um, uh, the problem says that you have n greater than equals to two. Consider the polynomial q n x, which is equals to one minus x to the power n minus one minus x whole to the power n. Okay, and uh, show that the equation q n x equals zero. So this polynomial uh, for some particular n. So it uh, has. Uh, I mean. Uh, if you if you fix uh, any natural number or any for any natural number q and x if you make it equal to zero so this will have only two real roots namely zero and one okay so uh, the very first thing is that you can easily plug in zero and one so q n zero you can uh, very well see that it's zero and q n one also you can very well see that it's zero so they are the roots no doubt but we won't have any other uh, real root apart from that so. The idea for these uh, type of problems is that like uh, if 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 a polynomial uh, is like or uh, even a function if it's strictly increasing or strictly decreasing, so it will um, uh, I mean it might cut the x-axis at most at one point. Okay, so uh, that's the idea. Okay, so let's let's look at the derivative of this polynomial q n x. Okay, so let's go down. Yeah, so problem two. Q n dash x. Okay, I'm uh, taking the derivative with respect to x, so it's uh, minus n x to the power n minus one plus n times one minus x whole to the power n minus one. Okay, now uh, let's take n common. So we basically get one minus x whole to the power n minus one, and uh, then we have minus x to the power n minus one. Okay. So now uh, try to see that to get the uh, uh, to get that whether when q uh, this derivative uh, it's greater than zero or less than zero or whatever. So we have to compare whatever is inside this bracket one minus x whole to the power n minus one and uh, x x to the power n minus one. So notice that they both have the same power n minus one. Okay. So now depending on this one minus x and x, whoever is greater or smaller. So we have to decide that uh, whether the sign is positive or negative. So uh, one minus x and x, when do they become equal? So they become equal at x equals half, right? So if you make them equal, so they uh, become x equals half. So if you plug in x equals half, you can very well see that. Uh, uh, I mean, the derivative is zero. Okay. So uh, the, the that means we have to take uh, two cases mainly. That is. Uh, our x is greater than half and our x is less than half okay so uh, let's uh, i mean let's take first our case that is uh, case 1 let's say that x is greater than half okay so if x is greater than half can we uh, directly compare so uh, there 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 uh, it depends on whether n is uh, n minus 1 is even or n minus 1 is odd okay so uh, coming to the very first uh, property that I'll be using to compare is that if I have x is greater than uh, half, so I have first of all that this implies that one minus x is less than uh, less than uh, x, okay? Because uh, from one you are subtracting more than half, and this is already like it might go to even negative as well, so or whatever it's less than uh, positive half. So, but and then also like that would imply that mod of 1 minus x would be less than mod of x okay so why because you can easily check it with the help of the diagram so, uh, so where is the scale factor okay anyways i'm drawing it by hand so to give you the idea so how is mod x so mod x is like this and how will be this mod x uh, 1 minus x it will be like this okay so they meet at x equals half so uh, at x equals half they meet and after that like i'm taking x greater than half right so after that uh, you can very well see any point you take so our mod x so this this part so our mod x is the one which is strictly greater okay so its graph is above uh, this uh, mod of 1 minus x so for x greater than half, we have this result. Okay, so now let's—I uh, uh, mean—come to the co comparison. Okay, so 
now as i told you that it depends on whether uh, we have our n is even or odd okay so first let's take that our n is uh, let's say anything like let's take that n is uh, odd so we get n minus 1 to be even okay so this is the only part where i am going to need this uh, result so uh, let's take that let's uh, the sub case is like n is odd okay so n is odd and uh, in that in that case we have n so in the power we have n minus 1 so n minus 1 is even okay and so now uh, we have to compare this that is uh, 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 now you would basically say that uh, it's so simple see 1 minus x uh, you have like uh, if 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 it's positive then uh, like it's less than half and so you have that x is greater than half and so if you take some positive power so the minus becomes plus and even if it's negative then also the minus sign becomes plus it's so easy no try to understand that like uh, for if in the inequality one is minus one is plus so let's say that um, uh, two two is greater than minus three but if you square now both the sides will it be this uh, will the same inequality hold now four and you are getting nine okay and even uh, uh, 2 is greater than let's say minus 1 now square both the sides so anything can happen right so that's why we have to be a little bit careful so uh, that's why I am going to use this uh, property here so now what I have is I have to start with this 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 1 so uh, yeah so for this case 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 1 now n minus 1 is even so I can say that this is equal to 1 minus sorry, mod of 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 1 doesn't make a difference because n minus 1 is uh, even so it will make the minus sign positive and thus again uh, let me use the property now so this is strictly less than mod of x whole to the power n minus 1 and again uh, we have that this is nothing but since x is greater than half x is positive so this is equal to x to the power n minus 1 and thus we see that this difference 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 this is negative okay so this is strictly negative uh, for this case n equals odd and x is greater than half now let's come to the part that is our n is uh, even so if n is even then n minus 1 is odd okay so n minus 1 is odd now uh, what we can say is that like try to notice that 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 1 now n minus 1 is odd so there are two cases like uh, if okay I have to compare it with x to the power n minus 1 now this is straightforward because st try to think that if 1 minus x is positive so it's less than half and x is greater than half so you bring uh, you raise it to the power same power uh, so then still like uh, x, uh, x x to the power uh, n minus 1 will be greater but if 1 minus x goes to the negative part okay it goes negative then since you are raising it to the odd power it will be still negative and uh, x x being positive greater than half so it will be positive so you can easily compare um, so it's always strictly less than inequality and thus we have that is uh, for this case in any scenario we are having that q n dash x is less than 0 okay which implies that our q n x so since the derivative is strictly greater than 0 our q n x is strictly decreasing okay so it's strictly decreasing in the interval half to infinity okay and thus you can see that like uh, uh, from half to infinity we can say that uh, since it's strictly decreasing it will cut the x-axis at most once okay and uh, you can very well see that it's cutting the x-axis at one and uh, thus we have only one root for this case which is x equals one now for uh, uh, th that is x less than half okay because at x equals half we can directly put it and see that it's not being a root so uh, now the second case case 2 that is x is less than half now here again you can go by the similar approach and compare them but here I'll use a very uh, nice observation so if you have observed it do comment below that is 
if you notice that q n uh, 1 uh, q n x q n x is equal to q n 1 minus x okay in place of x if you would have put uh, uh, 1 minus x then also it's the same it, the expression would come out to be the same okay so <coughs> now uh, how 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 are we going to use this so try to understand that uh, here so this is observe okay and now here we have x is less than half so what we have is that is uh, q n x is equal to zero so suppose now think that like uh, x is less than half and uh, i'm now looking for the roots of q n x okay the real roots so now suppose that q n x is zero so then that would also imply that q of q n of one minus x is also zero right but now try to understand that x is less than half so our 1 minus x will be greater than half and i can go back to uh, case 1 so like try to treat this as x n capital x okay equal 0 so i know that like uh, this capital x is greater than half because a small x is less than half so 1 minus x is uh, greater than half and uh, thus i have that like uh, again i i, I so i ha i can go to i can use my case one here that is uh, uh, there is a variable uh, for like here capital x is strictly greater than half okay and i know that my uh, function q uh, my polynomial q and x this uh, function is strictly decreasing we figured out here strictly decreasing at it has only one root from half to infinity so that means x capital x will have to be and that the root was one so the capital x has to be equal to one okay and that implies that one minus small x is equal to one which implies that x is equal to uh, half okay and thus uh, as you can go back uh, did i make any mistake no it was sorry 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 x is not half like uh, one one is getting cancelled out my mistake sorry my bad uh, x is zero okay so zero okay so sorry one and that implies that x is zero so now uh, let's go back so as you can see that uh, here we had to prove that uh, where did go? zero and one were the solution okay and thus we figured out that if x is greater than half then the only solution possible is 1 and if x is less than half then o the only solution possible is x equals 0 okay so uh, yes the second case again you could have done it by comparison as well as we did in the first case but again this observation I did so I hope you like the observation and uh, I hope you like the solution as well and also please do comment below how many you did in the UGB portion and uh, also uh, whether you were able to solve this question or if you have any difficulty anywhere understanding so do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you as much as possible and if you like the solution please do like it and uh, share it among the other students who uh, are seeking such solutions for this ugb 2024 okay so yes uh, thanks everyone for watching and uh, see you in the next one